Today we're going to use a flexible endoscope to access Chantelle's guttural pouches, which are a real strangles hotspot. The endoscope is flexible and therefore it allows us to get right into the back of the head where the guttural pouches are and collect samples and have a look without actually having any distress caused to the horse. So we're going to sedate Chantal because it allows us to get the procedure over as quickly as possible and allows us to be more accurate with the scope and also allows us to deal with any complications such as if we discover chondroids that need removal from a carrier. So in order to scope the horse, once you're set up and your horse is sedated, it's then a case of passing the scope up the nostril on the side that you want to examine and with the help of an assistant passing the scope up as close to the guttural pouch opening as possible and then using the eyepiece of the scope we can actually have a look around and see exactly where we need to be. Sometimes you need to reposition the scope just a little bit and then we pass a wire through the scope which is blunt and soft, but it allows us to get underneath the flap of the pouch opening, um, and then by turning the scope, it actually uses the wire to open the door of the pouch, so to speak, which allows the scope to slide in without any distress to the horse. Okay, so we're in. Once the scope's inside the pouch, we have a quick look round, and then we put the sample in, which involves injecting a solution of sterile water or sterile saline, into the pouch and we ask our assistant to raise the head at that point because by raising the head it means that our sample will actually stay in the pouch, it'll swirl around a bit and when we collect it it'll actually be telling us what's going on inside the pouch. So as soon as it's been squirted in and juggled around a bit we then get the scope into the puddle of water and we suck it back up into our syringe. And that's really the whole purpose of the scoping is to collect that sample. Now that we have our sample, we're having a good look around the pouch. The pouch looks nice and clean and healthy, which is what we're always hoping to see. But we just check all of the corners of the pouch to make sure that there are no surprises. So we can come out now. Thank you very much. So now that we've collected our sample through the endoscope from the guttural pouch, we put it into a special transport medium which preserves the sample while it goes in the post to the laboratory where they can culture for live bacteria as well as look for the DNA of strangles specifically. And so it's also vitally important to note down when you collected the sample and, of course, who it's from. What we found is that often a horse that's got strangles or is a carrier will not only show up with the sample we've collected, but vitally we can often see things wrong in the pouch such as finding a chondroid or seeing an inflamed pouch or even still seeing pus draining into the pouch. No one test is ever 100%, but if we combine collecting a sample with a really good look around, we are as close as we're going to get to being absolutely confident that a horse isn't going to be infected or a carrier. Um, and that's why we refer to the guttural pouch endoscopy as our gold standard test for strangles and strangles carriers.